Blue Boys here bringing you in a airsoft review of the airsoft GI G482 Blazing Hog, a cousin of the Flaming Hog. Shoots 350 to 400 FPS. Mine was shooting 405 out of the box. Um, comes with the John Noveski K KX3 sound amplifier is very nice goes very good with the all black gun this is the standard airsoft GI um, flash hider flash suppressor whatever you want to call it it's like that but it looks a lot better with this makes it so much louder scarier to me um, this is the standard mag that it came with it's 300 rounds it's a high cap as you can see with by the winding wheel and the place to restore the BBs. Make sure that whenever you close it, it you don't just close it like that, but listen to it snap. It's a very light snap, but it can save you from picking up 300 BBs, I'll tell you that. I've already gone through that. Um, this is the Airsoft GI polymer body. It's very sturdy. I mean, it can go through anything without getting dented, all scratched up, all nasty. Uh, on the side, if I can get this pretty good. Um, no, that's not going to work. It's a knight. It says ASGI and it says BCT3. Uh, it has a little lion right there. Very nice. Um, sorry if I'm saying them a lot, but AS is airsoft and then GI is GI as the person that you bought it from. Um, it's a very flush gun. It comes with the Daniel Defense rail system. Uh, it's not sharp. All the corners on it are round, uh, rounded out, so they're very nice. Uh, no sharp edges on it that I know of right now. Um, it's a nine point. It's a nine point five. Um, it's nine point five inches, and the barrel. I think it is 10.5. The inner barrel is um, 10.5 inches. Here is the flip up sights. Let's get all this out of the way. The flip up sights. I like to use that because I'm running all the time and I won't have time to look straight in the back sight. To do the back sight, you, and this is a G and G though, uh, you have to push it down on this. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. Pull that lever snaps down and then it pulls up. There's exactly two modes as you can see, two little slots. One is for long distance and one is for quick reference. It's a very nice hole though. As you can see, if I put it down you have to lift it back up and it should snap back on like so. Um, right here is the pull. This is where you get to your hop up. Uh, you pull this right here and then as you can see, pull it back and it opens up. And this is the other side. It has uh, infidel in Arabic and it says infidel has the GI symbol. Uh, just throws the auto semi and safe on the other side. Kind of got a little scratched up. The motors right here, the, uh, to adjust it, is down on the bottom of the hand. Uh, how I know this is a G&G is because it has a really good blowback. The blowback comes to, well, with BBs, it comes to about back here, and right there, and without BBs it kind of goes back like that. Um, you can push it back. Here's where you drop the mag out, right? This little button right here. Very, it snaps in there really good. There's where it comes out, and on the other side, if you can see, You press it, and that little, see that thing coming out? That's telling you that it's coming out. Uh, this is a fully adjustable stock. Pull this down, and then it goes out.
right here. This little deal comes out, and there's another piece, but I lost it. Here's your cord. It's a small type, not a large. Now, if you look inside the gun, as you can see, there's three separate containers. So I recommend getting the Intelligent 926 1600 milliamp so that you have that feed to use for your cord and then you put the one on this side and one on this side and you get the quick hookup in. Uh, so that's where the battery goes. So I need to run the other way. That is pretty much it on this gun. The motor's right here, the hopper is with the blowback system. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. Um, like, comment, rate, and subscribe.